I'm Sarah Polly, and I am the screenwriter and director of Women Talking. <laughs> Why are you laughing? We cannot leave. We will... It would be better to stay and fight than leave. Do you really mean that you want to stay and not fight? Women Talking is about a group of women in an isolated religious community who must decide how to respond to a series of attacks that have gone on over years. And they debate between staying and fighting or leaving or doing nothing. In this scene, they've finally come close to making a decision about what they're going to do. And Jesse Buckley's character, Marike, who has really been creating obstacles and has been somewhat of an adversary for the entire movie, um, is weighing in about why they can't move forward with their plan. And she's been upholding the status quo of needing to forgive the men and do nothing uh, for the entire film. And the other women here come at her hard for it. Pleading for the love of our Lord Jesus Christ and precious Savior, shut your pie holes, please. How dare you pass judgment on me? It wasn't a judgment, it was a question. <laughs> so this scene kind of becomes a reckoning with the other women and how they have either judged Marike for or been complicit in the ongoing domestic violence that she's been experiencing. And I had been reading a lot of Harriet Lerner's work on apologies while I was writing this script, and I realized that in order for this group to move forward together as a cohesive whole, there was going to have to be some accountability from the women themselves to each other. So Marika here finally says what she's been wanting to say when she says, how dare you judge me? When Ona apologizes to Marike, she does it poorly the first time and then fully the second time. Who are you? Who are any of you to pretend I have had a choice? And when she does this, something in Marike is thrown off of her defensive stature and it opens the door for a crucial apology from her mother, Greta. That in turn opens the door for Marike to finally confront her community about the way they have judged her and not supported her. I'm also sorry, Marike. I didn't try to protect you or your children from Klaus. And what you say is true, you had no choice. You forgave him again and again, as you were told to. As I told you to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When we filmed the scene, we had a crew member who had had a parallel situation in his childhood where there had been abuse and no accountability and no apology from his parents for not protecting him the way they should have. So actually, this scene was a kind of collaboration between me and this crew member and Jesse and Sheila trying to find what the most meaningful apology would be. So specifically, the actual words, I'm sorry, at the end was requested by him as well in, in order to, to capture what would have felt like a meaningful apology to him. And then when we decided she actually had to say the words, I'm sorry, at the end, Sheila McCarthy, who played Greta, spontaneously said it three times. She just felt she had to. And it's exactly what Marika needs in order to finally begin to become part of this community. And it involves a huge internal shift. And then Kate Hallett, who plays Auche, who really came up with so many things that were not scripted throughout the film, included this cross over to her mother as she realizes what her mother has been carrying and how it connects to how her mother has mothered her. And Jesse, as Marike, then recognizes how she has passed on this harm. So there's this moment of intergenerational recognition. This is something that happens spontaneously in rehearsal, just based on the fleshing out of the mother-daughter relationship that Jesse and Kate had been doing in every scene, both in rehearsal and on set. <laughs> 